Hi everyone, I will show the main workflow of Plio Structure Restoration in this video. There are four tools of Plio Structure Restoration in Depth Insight. Every tool has five steps to complete restoration work. Create a tool. Set parameters. Implement tool. Check the result and create a new model. Now, I will introduce the operation process using an actual case. Open the software. Select modeling button. Open the prepared model. This model is a complex structure model established in Depth Insight software. I will introduce the operation process using it. The node of produce structure restoration is in the bottom of trade windows. The new structure restoration module can provide photos to restore structure, such as inclined shear, fresh or slip, unfolding, and flattening beds. Before the restoration work, we need to study evolution of the whole block to judge development period of the fault and horizon, in order to restore structure more accurately. The first tool is the inclined shear. It is to restore the normal fault. Create inclined shear. Double click to select the target fault. Adjust the relevant parameters in red properties column, including shear upper surface, shear lower surface, azimuth and inclination of shear vector. Display setting and so on. Select Implement Tool in three windows. We can check the result after calculated. Normal false slip has been eliminated. And there is some shrinkage on surface. Then use this way to complete restoration of other normal fault. Now we complete the restoration of normal faults, which are in hanging wall of thrust fault. But there may be some distortion that impact the restoration result of model. Because of different displacement of fault during the restoration, such as the irregular fault line in the model, it needs us to create a new model to modify. This model is a new one, based on the restoration result. And next, we need to adjust the model boundary according to the data of discrete point to ensure the changes of shrinkage quantity.
After that, update the surface of fault and horizons. The model basically inherited the restoration result of the first model. Now we continue to restore the normal fault in the foot wall of the last foot. In the restoration of the model, we can see the obvious change of shrinkage. As restored all the normal fault, we need to create a new model again to modify model distortion and then continue the restore work. Adjust the model boundary, update the surface, and make it zoom. This will flow like as we did above. Now we introduce the second tool, Flash or Sleep. Create Flash or Sleep in three windows. Select the thread foot in the model. And set properties. Search at target surface to slide basement, movement hanging wall, and so on. and select implement tool in three windows. We can check the result after calculated. The displacement of the right fault has been eliminated. The third tool is unfolding. We can treat one side of the model as a fold zone. Create unfolding tool. Orientate the pin plane in fold zone. Adjust the scoping of the fold control by modified forward and reverse. And then, Implement Tool. We can check the result and contrast the surface change between calculating before and after. The last tool is flatting bed. It can restore the target surface to the diagram. Create flatting bed and set the relevant parameters in red properties. Templated plane, horizontal plane, Z value. And then implement tool. The target surface has been restored to the data 
of zero meter. Now we have finished the restoration of T2. At present, we save the model and create a new model. The new model is our restoration result. In the new model, T2 surface has been restored to the data. The next work is T3 surface restoration. We need to delete T2 and T3 at the top surface of the model. Thanks for your support. The following is our contact information. If necessary, Please contact us. Thank you.